Oh, hello, and welcome to our rehearsal space. Hi, Kirsten. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, so ready. All right, here we go. What city did you grow up in? I grew up in Vancouver. I moved a lot throughout the Lower Mainland, but um, now I consider home Squamish. And what's Vancouver in one word? Mellow. <laughs> and what about Toronto? What's your favorite thing about Toronto? Toronto is, uh, oh no, I don't, I don't know a non-dopey way to say this. It's where I met my boyfriend and it was also on a Mozart show. And so now I just think of Toronto as like a really romantic city whenever I come back. That's sweet. When you're away from Canada, what do you miss the most? Well, okay, so there's our particular brand of politeness that is pretty lovely, but also I just, I, I think of all the Pacific Northwest feels, the mountains and the woods and the hiking, and that's very Canada to me. That's, I miss that a lot. What's one of your favorite opera productions you've ever seen? For sure, it'll be Nozze di Figaro that I did recently with Garsington, um, because it was just, it was a super fun, easy experience. And the show was just beautiful, the costumes, the sets, everything. And at one point, it, since it's out in these beautiful gardens, we just opened up all of the glass doors and actually the entire set just continued in the gardens around it. It was, it was special. If you weren't an opera singer, what would you be? I would be a kindergarten teacher. It runs in my family. My mom was one, her mom was one. And um, yeah, I just think I could probably enjoy that if I didn't have music. And what job do you think you would be terrible at? <laughs> so when I'm nervous, my hands get like a little bit shaky. So I think probably a surgeon is not really in the cards for me. <laughs> I wouldn't want to kill anybody with my nerves. Oh. <laughs> Now think back to your childhood. What advice would you give to your 15 year old self? I would stress the importance of meditation because um, it just is so peaceful and soothing and helpful if you tend to ever get stressed, which I do. So I would say get comfortable, get used to it, start to love it immediately because it's just something that you'll use forever. And who was your celebrity crush when you were a kid? <laughs> Legolas. <laughs> I loved Lord of the Rings and I loved everything elves. And um, I thought he was wonderful. So I know you knit. What is the most ambitious thing you've ever knit? So far, I only knit scarves because I am a noob and I only know two stitches. But um, a friend just recently got a puppy and um, I was talking to another singer here who also knits. And I think we're gonna collaborate and make some sort of little knit jacket for the snow. I mean, that's definitely ambitious considering my current skill level, which is minimal. <laughs> Baby steps. <laughs> do you have any siblings? I do. I have three brothers. Um, all of them are older than me and all of them are massive. They're super tall. And would you say you're a classic youngest child? Mm-hmm. I'm the baby all the way. Only girl and the youngest child. Life was sweet. Now what would you prefer, living in warm weather all year round or having all four seasons? Four seasons, for sure. They're the best. I wouldn't want to skip a single one. Do you have a dream vacation getaway? I recently have become really obsessed with Alaska. I just think it's beautiful and wild and so fun and um, I would love to go, maybe not in one of the most extreme seasons. <laughs> um, but yeah, Alaska would be my destination for sure. Now if you had to pick, what would be your karaoke song? So there's only one answer that would be acceptable for this, I think. Um, I would sing Pony by Genuine. <laughs> An excellent choice. All right, the podium feels like a good place for our lightning round. Lightning round! Here we go, to your coffee. Tea. Walk or bike? Walk. Messy or neat freak? Both sometimes, neither. And Puccini or Mozart? Mozart, definitely Mozart. Final question, what is the one thing opera needs more of? 
attention. Guys, you need to give it a chance. If you've never been before, you should just show up and experience how awesome it is and not worry about the fact that sometimes in the past it seems like an exclusive club. It's for everybody and it's super fun and you need to just go and be surprised and then start loving it forever like I do. Well, we're so pumped that you took the time to do this with us. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you have lined up for the rest of today? More rehearsals. We have music to make, people. And it looks like there's a little bit of homework behind you. I know. Doesn't that look complicated? <laughs> See why I need to practice? <laughs> well, we'll leave you to it. See you, Kirsten. Bye.